this is my burglar look. I'm dressed like this for a reason. Believe it or not, I am dressed for success. We're gonna talk about street money, taking advantage of opportunities that are free, easy, and clear to you. Often you'll have to get your hands dirty. Let me give you an example. It was January, and I remember this because this was a Craigslist protocol story that turned into a long-term deal. She answered the ad. I went over, I would say from the time of answering the ad to me being intimate with this woman was literally three hours, it was very quick. It was one of these weird apartment complexes because you came in one way, but you went out another way. So the next morning I was leaving and I was driving my X5. Then by the dumpster, I saw a butcher block table and six chairs. I stopped, whipped around, looked at it, shook the table, tested the chairs. It's like, who would throw away such a thing? It was in not good condition, it was in perfect condition. I was just, it didn't make any sense. This was an upscale apartment complex. Maybe that has something to do with it. So I did what any hustler would do. I lowered the seats in my X5, I put the table in and because I knew how to stack furniture from my many, many loads of doing storage auctions, I loaded that sucker in there and there was this lady with her dog watching me. And she said, you've done that before. I said, a few times, a few times. She said, I thought about getting that table, but it just seemed like so much work. I was like, good thing you didn't because it's mine. Took pictures of it outside and I arranged it to be somewhat artistic. I put this thing on Craigslist for $350. Absolutely no cost into this whatsoever. It comes at me and it's like, would you take a hundred bucks? Delete, delete, delete. Then I get a few more people. Then this girl, she says, I will pay you what you ask if you would deliver it to me. I load it back up, but this time, because uh, let's, let's step back. I actually polished the table with furniture polish. I shined down the shares. I did everything. So it looked really, really good. So I'm taking it to this chick's house and I wrap it in blankets and I wrap each chair in blankets because the way I had stacked it in there before, it was to prevent shares from rubbing against each other and messing up the paint. A lot of people move and don't wrap furniture. It's crazy. So I move it to this girl's apartment, just another apartment. And I was like, look, you're going to have to help me take this stucker upstairs because she would be on the third floor. She said, no problem. So we moved the table up, we moved the chairs up, and she paid me the 350. And I went on upon my merry way. Then the next day, I got a text. Hey, you wanna go out sometime? So what is the moral of this story? When you see easy available money, you should scoop it up. Now, this is the reason for my burglar get up. It's a habit for me to dress this way because I was always ready to make money in my chosen profession of storage auctions. I would literally stop if I saw a chair, I saw a dresser on the side of the road, I stopped, thought nothing of it. People looking, I didn't care. Many of you see street money every day and you will not address it. Number one, you're not prepared. If you wanna be a street money hustler, you need a truck or a van. And this needs to be your daily driver because you never know when opportunity is going to pop up. I do remember one time I was in my car and I saw something and I went home, got my SUV, went back, it was gone. So if you are a person who needs some money and most of us need money, you need to be on that street money hustle. Literally paying attention as the redhead picker, I hadn't heard that name in a while, have you? Keep your head on the swivel. Literally, I would make four to 1200 bucks a month just from street money. I don't do it now because I don't really drive that much and I'm not doing the Craigslist protocols. There is money, free money, all around you. Neighborhood I live in now, I could probably make four or five grand a month if I was on the street money protocol. I see it all the time. There was a bed on Long Island Drive. It was from, God, what is the name of this store? I knew exactly what the bed was. I knew I can get 150 bucks for it. It was just out there. I see stuff all the time. Tables, 
on the next door, curb alert, bookcases, all of the time. So if you need some money and you have a truck or a van, that needs to be your daily driver so you could take advantage of the street money. Because literally, like what I was doing when I lived in my last apartment, I continued this out. I don't even think I talked about it, but routinely, 400 to 1200 bucks a month just finding stuff in the complex. Oh, the complex by the trash dumpster. I saw a Herman Miller Aeron chair and I found out why they threw it away. The compression thing didn't work. If you take that bad boy back to Herman Miller and you'd be nice to the people, they'll probably change that sucker out. Bam, 400 bucks, just like that for a little elbow grease. Like I said, the first reason many of you will not get on the street money protocols is because you don't have a truck, you don't have a van. The second reason you ain't going to do it. You're not going to be seen out there on the side of the street lugging a dresser into your van. You're just not going to. I don't care if you're counting pennies. I don't care if you had to borrow money from Big Mama. You're just not going to do it because it don't look so good. And this is something that is perplexing to me because I think of it from the way that I would approach stuff, which is the wrong way to look at it. I need to look at it from your perspective. I need to look at it from the way that you are doing stuff. We live in a social media world. There was this video I was watching this morning. It was talking about how people fake it on social media, that people would take, like I call it the fat girl photo shot. You ever notice like you're doing online dating, you'll see the, the perfect, and she's cute, she's real cute, but you only see pictures of her from the neck up. You don't see anything else. All those shots are perfectly coordinated. And then you meet her and she, she's like Jabba the Hutt. People actually feel that that temporary window will matriculate into the real world and it just never does. So that there's a social shame to doing hard work, um, moving stuff, being seen, because it makes you look poor. But the thing is, you are poor. You're broke. <laughs> you're broke. You need money. And you just leaving money on the side of the street because of how it would look if you were dragging that thing into your vehicle. So number one, most of you ain't ready because there's a lot of you, you had a truck, a van, you'd be out here every day looking for something. But the second group, you need to get over yourself because street money is real. And if you are suffering a 500 to $1,200 per month shortfall in your budget, one of the quickest ways to do it is street money. Find a well-to-do neighborhood and drive around the neighborhood. There will be days you will get absolutely nothing. Opportunity costs. And there'll be days every time you turn around, there'll be something, there'll be something. For you, you know, with your basic financial education, one of the core principles here is you need to make more money. Part-time jobs are not what they used to be. I feel that street money for a person who is healthy, who has the resources, is a better way to make more cash than a part-time job because there's no limit to the amount of street money you can make. And this is just one thing, you know, you can make money, like there's this new food truck, the slutty vegan, street money. There's a line wrapped around the building, street money. But a lot of people don't want to make money on the street. They want to make money sitting on their gluteus maximus in front of a computer screen. Let me tell you something. If you became really good at getting street money, that would matriculate into you getting online money. See, most of you do not have foundational hustle, marketing, whatever you want to call it. You just don't have the foundation. But if you would do street money, you will start building those skills to help you become more successful online. All right, so that's all I got for you kids today. Go below and enroll in my basic income course, basic financial income education course. It's 75 bucks if you buy it all at once. It's 25 bucks a month if you go on the monthly payment plan. Also, everybody that buys this course, that's all you're gonna pay. And what I mean is, after I finish this course, there will be another one. And whatever you paid on this course, this will be deducted from whatever happens in the next course. So let's say the next course is 300 bucks. You pay 75, you only pay 225. The way that I'm doing this this time, because I know a lot of people want to get in and they're like waiting to the good stuff. 
essentially, you can get in now and not lose money later. How cool is that? So the links are below. Grab it. It should be done by this time next Sunday. And then we start phase two, which you will get an email saying, hey, you know, we're starting phase two. Here's your discount coupon. So if you don't buy it, you don't get a discount coupon. How simple is that? We're going to keep it simple. We're going to be about that money. We're going to be about that online money, that digital money and that street money, passive income, earned income. We all about that stuff. Because if I can make money looking like this, and I made a lot of money looking like this, imagine what you could do. You look good, right? You clean, right? Get that clean money. Go ahead, get it. It's out there. Just like uh, the X-Files, the truth is out there. Well, the money is out there. Some of that money's got your name on it.